Hello to the channel. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you all had a good weekend. Um, not that much happening midweek, Champions League, etc. But it's going to be a tough one. Anyways, had a pr pretty good weekend. Um, picking up a, a star reward. So look forward to the rewards opening. Uh, we have an update from so there as well in terms of some plans for lower down tournaments, the cap to 70, etc. So we'll have a wee look at that and then have a wee look at some lineup building as well. Um, apologies to anybody if you try to tune into the the live the live thing with Boris last night, which was a fucking disaster. <laughs> anyway, we'll try and do it again at some point. Um, if it doesn't work great, right, then we'll just record the video. But um, hopefully, um, Boris can get his mic sorted. Um, aye, didn't work very well, but hey ho. Anyways, I'm in the middle of the screen here just for effect. I'm gonna move myself down to the bottom of the screen and um, just have a wee look at this lineup that's performed so so yeah and what I would say is I'm, I'm not just um, unnecessarily plugging um, Egal's spreadsheet all the time S underscore probability so look at spreadsheet later but quite happy with the recent um, results you know so get all things considered um, sitting on the Celtic conceded two and all that um, hit the 240 threshold and in challenger this effort became third. So Safinov um, pulled through. Um, th this was a sort of deliberate um, effort as well, actually. So it's worked out pretty well, but, you know, I only have one rare, Joe Hart. Um, if he was a bit younger, if he was a longer contract, I'd have more Joe Harts. But there we go. Alistair Johnson with a phenomenal diving clearance off the line, which everybody thinks is a handball. I don't agree. Um, T-shirt line and all that. Sebastian Szymanski, outrageous this season. Valik Wiesha, superb. And Matt O'Reilly with his usual, usual good score. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to get stuck into the rewards and then we can have a wee look at um, preview for the weekend, a bit of line-up stuff and have a look at the Soria update. So, so coins. If they open. I press the button, please open. Coins. Six thousand eight hundred and fifty. In case anybody's wondering, I'm on the tee. Um, it's a school night and all that, so we're not going bonkers midweek. Maybe again on Friday. Who knows? Um, Challenger Europe rare. So for third place, we got one hundred and seventy-one pounds of Ethereum, zero point zero nine six, which is really good. Um, actually, the crypto is taking a wee dip as well. I take all my rewards and crypto for my own reasons. So there we go. Premier League special um, picked up £6.39 all adds up and the cap 240 rare as well hit the threshold there so £39.91 worth of Ethereum 0 0.0235 so pretty good a um, bit, bit more of our sort of um, contained amount of rewards but pretty good quality so absolutely delighted um, honestly at one point a weekend didn't think it was going to really win anything to be honest um, always having Celtic to go as a chance and at one point when we hadn't made a complete and utter arse of it, um, we're on for some, something a bit better, but pretty happy with how it's ended anyway. So, under 23, tier 3 rare. The Venezuelan defender, Club Bruges. Joe Ordonez, nice. Um, always good to get a good good young um, defender. And Bruges are pretty good at producing these guys are buying the right talent and, and developing them so that's pretty good 40th in the Challenger Europe Rare Plus um, pretty good score of 400 actually but um, tier 2 rare for that French forward usually good Hibs Ellie Ewan nice um, pretty talented guy actually uh, came on against Celtic and he run um, that Phillips ragged but anyway that that's not really much of a that's not much of a compliment these days. So there we go. He is utter shite. No way Celtic will be signing him. I think actually all the fans will walk out sign him. You'll be back at Liverpool. Anyway, star rare. Podium. Pretty happy again to be getting up there. Should be a good quality. Um, fingers crossed. Then we'll have a wee look forward to the weekend. Star rare. Come on. Turkish goalkeeper. That's usually good. Kakia, nice one. Always good to get a goalkeeper. 
there's quite a lot of goalkeepers in the star pool actually at the moment. Um, people will be saying, oh, a nice one, they're uh, getting a, a Turkish goalkeeper and they've all went absolutely ballistic and they're fighting with referees and it's been called off and all that sort of stuff. That's not going to last long, I don't think. I mean, absolutely atrocious scenes. There's no two ways about it. I, I really don't know what's going through the heads of the people there. But um, I think they'll be, it'll be off this weekend. I don't think it'll be off for very long, to be brutally honest. They just... They, like you can't punish all the other clubs because one club's went bonkers. Totally ridiculous what's happened. So, but they'll be back. Um, anyways, pre- pretty happy with that. Um, I suppose it could have been better as a star there, but um, playing goalkeeper and international goalkeeper as well. I think plays for Turkey. So, anyways, going to have a quick um safety at this update, which we've um probably been discussed a wee bit um, amongst everyone. So. Um, they've been introduced in the first ever reward um, box special to a 70, so it's going to run over consecutive game weeks, 4-3-3 to 4-3-6. It is an individual game week thing, it's not a long format thing. Top 7,000 get something, so that's pretty good. Um, I think the main headline from this is that the tier 4s and tier 3s, tier 4s and tier 5s have been taken out, so, you know, there's only 200 limited cards guaranteed, but it's higher tiers. And then if you come in any of the positions, like in the top positions, you get this rewards box and you've got a, a chance of picking up a star as well. Or lower down, um, you you get, um, you just get like either a lower chance or you get some level ups. Hey, so product road roadmap update. Um we bit of an update. It doesn't look as if it's a sort of sea change, but reward boxes. So I had a quick chat about these. I think it tells you in the graphic. Yeah, so it looks pretty good actually. So, you know. Um feedback seems to be pretty good, to be honest, so far. So that's nice. And it's it's not it's an extra tournament, but they're taking the, the cards from Cap to Forty. So in Cap to Forty, you're only gonna be able to win um the F for hitting 280 um, and then you'll have this um, so top 200 get um card which is a minimum tier 3 um, top 1000 get a premium box which gives you a chance of winning a star as well so you, you know you get another chance and the top positions get a couple of rares as well so so it's, I find that kind of interesting to be honest um, so I think it's a good a good idea um, Card bonus consistency, um, so fitness bonus is obviously we knew that that was sort of going, um, XP levels and everything are going to apply across pretty much everything as far as I can see. I don't really play the the kickoffs that much, but I do play the unique one um, occasionally. Um, so the ones that will be changed are capped to 20 super rare. And unique um kickoff super rare and kickoff unique um because everything will have um a scarcity again a scarcity bonus again um and then in the um the 240 tournaments rather than having to hit 280 you'll now have to hit 330 or 375 in the unique but that's because you'll need to add in the 40 percent per unique or the 20 percent per Super rare if you're using like a super rare goalie. I haven't crunched any numbers on that. I know some people have done that. Um, cap to 20 super rare is returning. Um, game weeks 4-4-1 to 4 4 eight. Um, And this long format competition will come back. But interestingly, it's just super rare cap. Um, super cap to 20, sorry. Yeah, so super cap to 20. Um. This. I don't know, I don't understand that. Is it um is super cap limited rare, super rare and unique? I think it probably is actually, because it's dead confusing the call things like super cap to twenty, and then you've got super rares like anyway, I think it's all of them. I I don't really like that to be honest. Like um I'll explain that just in a wee minute. So anyways, I think um overall it's a pretty positive update. Um why do I not like it? Well, we started off, we had the all-star long format competitions, then we had 270, then we missed 240, and now we're at 220. 
people do seem to enjoy the two twenty, so that's fair dues. Like you know, if the people enjoy it, that's fine. But the the two twenty rewards are by far the worst out of the ones that we've done in the two two seventy and the all star. So initially it was kind of almost like, oh, it's going to be, you know, longer format and it's going to be in the All-Star and everything and we've gone progressively down. I just don't, I just, just do not like that direction at all. I don't mind um, having some focus on the caps, etc. Like, that's fine. There's no problem with that. Um, but you do uh, the, the thing I like about this same thing, the 270, moving the, the cards from 240 to 270, making them slightly higher quality and having the rewards boxes is, you're encouraging people to move through rather than encouraging people to go to 240 and just say, well, what do I want to do next week? Yeah, I just want to hit the threshold. Win a card, that's fine. You want you want people to aim at um, moving on a wee bit. So maybe um, Bull Star made a great point. People, if there's no card rewards in 240, will, will perhaps put in slightly weakened lineups and actually might save so rare a bit of money in the threshold as well because some of the better lineups will be in the two seventies or whatever. So we'll see how that all sort of um lines up, etc. Um it's nice to see that they're they you know so rare are trying and everything, but I'm real I'm really I mean, I know that's quite a strong opinion, but I'm I really don't like the direction that the long formats have, have went in at all. I think that you know it started as a really good tournament. They've moved it down a wee bit um because obviously they've decided to move it down through the caps. Now we're away down at the lowest level. What happens if you're 220? So you're 220 limited, right? And you come into that section and you say, right, okay, I've come out of the amateur or whatever and I want to play 220, but it's only a long format. Your gallery is not going to be ready for that, is it? Because you're only going to own a few cards. So you want to take a go at an individual game week. But what you're forced to do now is play across eight game weeks or whatever. So I get that and a lot, a lot of existing users are like that, but... Long format competitions are not for cap to twenty. Anyway, I'll shut up now. I know <laughs> you got the message. I don't really like it. It's shite. No, I'm okay. It's not shite. Um, the stream last night with me and Boris was shite. Um, just been flipping. So anyway, on to the weekend. Bit of a preview. Might even have a wee look at a a team or two as well. So this is the early data for the weekend. Um, a couple of things to point out here before we go through the data. I think um, this is the last around the games in Holland until like say phew, they've got like a cup game I think coming up and then there's like no games until 13th of January or something like that so there's a mini break there so um, it's going to be quite interesting I think this weekend as well um, Celtic versus Hearts so it's nice to see Celtic being quite high up there in terms of teams I think for two reasons here you have AZ against um, PSV the weekend I think um, Feyenoord obviously a really good fixture so that's going to be um, tough one to compete against but then there's not going to be any Turkish games because they're all off so um, Challenger could be quite a good area to target this weekend and Man City against Crystal Palace do you think Man City um, probably going to rotate a lot in Europe this week um, Ajax, interested to see Ajax back in amongst it um, up to 5th so as it turns out Big Morris Stein was the problem Um Sometimes you've got to give these guys who sign and everything a bit, a bit of a chance to um, to gel and adapt and all that sort of stuff. But um, there we go. Um, so it's interesting to see them up there. Pigs Wall are pretty, pretty rank rotten, I think, in general. Real Madrid, not much of a surprise there. I guess Villarreal are a bit leaky. Um, Genk, so that's an interesting one. Genk against Cotterick, obviously. Billy Bilal, El Canus, etc. Liverpool. So quite a low clean sheet percentage, but quite high up in terms of expected team goals and win percentage. Again, not that surprising. Liverpool have been good this season. Man United, pretty average, I would have said. Um, they were scraping out some results at some point, but you know, it's pretty, pretty, some pretty rotten results as well. Bayern against Stuttgart are pretty interesting. I wouldn't fancy Bayern against Stuttgart. I really wouldn't. Um, Stuttgart, pretty good result against Bayern. Look, Bayer Leverkusen played pretty well. Um, Bayern Munich can be a bit hit and miss as well. Stuttgart are a really good team, so um, so it's quite high a win percentage in team goals, but um, you know that's an interesting one could go either way. Rijeka against Rudez. I mean Rudez are um are awful, so that's quite interesting. We've got some Rijeka players. 
Um, Chelsea, Sheffield United, again, do you really fancy Chelsea at the moment? No. Bayer Leverkusen, I mean, Eintracht Frankfurt are such a funny team. Like, like they're going to beat Bayern Munich 5-1, and, like, you, you wouldn't be surprised if Leverkusen beat them 4-0 or whatever. Um, so that's an interesting one, too. Some other fixtures to look out for there, too. Um, player database. So, these are the projected scores of left. This is everybody. Uh, Bella Kotchap's injured at the moment. Um, Dwight McNeil quite high up. That's quite interesting. So I wonder why he's so high in terms of projections. Manor Solomon's injured at the moment. So is Lavia. Um, so that may be skewing things a wee bit in terms of their averages, etc. Um, Danko Uetara is an interesting young player. I'm not sure if he was sort of injured recently as well. Um, I think he should back from injury. The Lord Kniper, so STBV are a pretty interesting team. Um, you know, quite a few players. Um, two, two guys have got some players from there now. Coit has been smashing it. Um, Ilya Zabarni, pretty interesting. Paul Bernardo, well, he'll not get a game for Celtic. Looks pretty crap to me, to be honest. Um, see why he's got a high projected score, because if he plays, then Celtic are at home and all that. Rhys James, well, he's got no hamstrings. <laughs> so he'll not be playing. <laughs> no fitness report yet. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I'm not saying any more than that. Like that's that's the highest projected scores. Um go down a wee bit further because we're still in the like the seventy fours and everything just now. See if there's anybody else who um kinda stands out there. Um well oh, itchy trigger fingers here. Um Nicholas Madsen, yeah, um guy who I've got and um, who I really like. Jude Bellingham, well at sixty eight's probably about his average these days. Matt Swiefer, um, so if it's Feyenoord came up on the list earlier, which is pretty interesting. Serenci, I know Somerville's been absolutely outrageous. Um, I don't own Labrovic, but um, yeah, pretty high expected score for him there as well. So anyway, what we'll do is we'll go into my players actually and just we'll, we'll have a wee sifty um, through here. Um, it's been saved as the limited scarcity, so we'll put it back to all... Um, left is all star. I'm just checking all the different um filters and stuff just now. Do, 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 do. Last fifteen. So do, do. yeah, I had it on last fifteen average score of forty five. So need to change that filter. Then we got back to being everybody. So. Jordi Petrovic came on, obviously. We need to have a wee look and see what's happened to the Chelsea goalkeeper. That's pretty interesting. Um, Connor Hazard's not always been playing, I don't think. Um, Zine Suzuki, fairly high up there as well. Don't know if the actual Celtic data is all in here. Let's see. Usually expect some of the Celtic players to be quite high up here. But I'm sure there are Celtic players in here, but oh yeah. Yeah, so where's Matt O'Reilly? He's always up the top of the the top of the charts. What have I done? Have I made a ass of the filters or something? Cox, uh, maybe it's just one of those games doesn't really kind of suit the midfield, or maybe I've just done something that's made an ass of the the actual uh, game week was uh, under you know, age. Red score minimum 35, start percentage, no, 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 sort of descending. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, th I, th I think it's just it's looking like a weird list at the moment, but I think the other thing is you've got a lot of teams that are not get games and everything at the weekend as well. Um, So all the, <laughs> all the Liverpool goalkeepers quite high up um, against Man United, pretty interesting. Um, So yeah, that is definitely interesting. Reese James won't play. Big Julian, that's quite interesting. Wesley for fan, I'm not sure if he's fully back yet. Juranovic, XL. <laughs> um John Stones, hope we see him back more um constantly now as well. Yeah, there are several players in here. Greg Taylor, 55. Been dire this season, Greg Taylor. Really quite poor. I'm just wondering where Matt O'Reilly is here. How is where is he? How can he not be that high up in terms of projected score at home? Uh, where are you? Must be a couple of bits of data missing. Must be. Um, 
anyways, we'll not focus on this too much. We'll have a, a look through again when we're doing actual sort of lineup builder. Nice to see Tengstead getting some games for Benfica. He's a guy I really rate, actually, to be honest. Um, so anyway, we'll focus on the sort of team fixtures anyway. We've had a look through this before, but he was pretty obvious, like, where you really want to target for this weekend. You know, if you can afford fine art players. I think it's interesting because they're probably more affordable these days. Um, Genk, interesting too. Um, and then Turkish teams, we, we, we sort of touched on them. Um, I think for the, the Turkish teams, if they do dip a wee bit, um, then that, that's going to be interesting. So move myself over here. But here... Um, if the Turkish teams dip a wee bit, then that might be a good point to pick up some players. Um, I just don't see them been out for that long. They'll maybe miss a weekend or two, but they'll be back. Um, can't stop the whole league because one team's went bonkers and it's craziness, but there we go. Um, what else has been happening? Well, we've got this manager progression thing now as well. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um Mines is pretty high up, being a complete maniac as as I've been for a number of years. So that's that's quite interesting. But I, what what I like with this stuff is the the scope of the game development. So you know maybe at some point you'll have some exclusive tournaments where you need to reach a certain level to get into them or to unlock them or you know that type of stuff. Um, there are loads of different other um, directions that you can go, and the, the update did say. There'll be more done with your own manager ID, etc. Again, I think that would be pretty cool. Like um one of the ideas I had was like having your own like manager card or whatever, which um, you know, a lot of managers are really like place a lot of importance on their historic record and their achievements and you know, how well or or, or not they've done, but you know, give you a reason to, to try and um move forward and everything as well. So anyway, I think that'll do us for now. We've done a wee preview, we've opened some some really nice rewards again. Pretty, pretty um, good weekend again, all things considered. Um, so really happy with that. I'm going to sell the game tomorrow night, so won't be a video out with lineup projections or anything tomorrow night or um, lineup picks. But I'll try and get something out for sort of Thursday ish, late Thursday night anyway, and we'll roll on to the weekend. Anyway, I'm just rabbiting now. Um, it's not a live stream. Hopefully, you can all hear me. <laughs> Anyway, let's not talk of that live stream again. If you're playing this midweek, good luck and go fuck. Thanks very much, everybody, again, for watching.